Happy Sunday morning, everyone. How y'all doing this morning? We're just a man out, a cup of coffee. Smoke a little cigarette, drink my coffee. Sunday morning. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me with another day. Uh, and blessing me that yesterday's over with that football game I watched. So I sat out here trying to... Uh, trying to uh, think about... Uh, uh, college football and, and and reflect on the positives of, of yesterday's game or last night's game South Carolina lost to North Carolina I wanted to sit down and reflect a little bit and try to see at least find some positive takeaways from the football game so I made a little list of positives here's a positive my first positive takeaway from yesterday's game was I'm pretty damn positive this might be the worst offensive line I've seen at South Carolina in a very long time. North Carolina last year uh, on defense. Now I get they, they did look a little better, but I don't know if they look better or we made them look better. I don't know. I'll give North Carolina some credit. They did look pretty good defensively. Um, gave up 10 sacks. All of last year, North Carolina had 17 sacks total in 14 games. They had 10 against us last, last night. So I'm positive, uh, we still ain't figured out how to block. There's a positive. Uh, positive game. Another positive part of our game was the running game. Positive, that's terrible. Um, still the same play calling as we thought we lost with Satterfield. All we heard is this was going to be kind of a browse and open it up and let Spencer throw the ball. Well, if you can't block on the offensive line, that's not going to work. If you can't run, if you can't block on the offensive line, running game is not going to work. So I'm positive offensively right now. I don't know what the hell is going to work because um, I didn't see anything that gave me any uh, excitement yesterday um, at all. I'm positive our special teams didn't look good either. Kai Kroger, uh, who was, you know, we were, a lot of people were upset he didn't make the Ray Guy Award thing last year for punters. Couldn't kick the ball 30 yards. And when they did, they kicked it to the all the guys would go to one side and the ball was on the other side of the field and I, I don't know it like, did nobody know where the ball was going or what so I'm positive that wasn't very good either and that that's supposed to be one of our good things uh, positive we can't take advantage of turnovers An onside kick two interceptions really got nothing out of it I'm positive about that um, what else am I positive on? I'm positive our defense still hasn't learned to tackle. You know, that grade school kind of thing you taught. Uh, Pee Wee League or Junior Varsity. Positive we still ain't figured out how to tackle. Uh, what else is next? Uh, can't stop the run. Can't tackle. You can't stop the run. Uh, they ran the ball on us. No, 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 no one that hit anyone the first time took them down. It just, it was a rarity, um, almost like uh, finding Bigfoot uh, as far as I got it. Took down someone on the uh, initial contact. Um, DB room, I think we thought our expectations was they were going to be better. They got tasted. They got lit up. Uh, don't even, man, you give a cushion, a 15-yard cushion to a guy, 12, 15-yard cushion to a guy, and he still runs by you and catches the ball for a touchdown. That, that's horrible. I mean, I understand if you're pressing on the line and the guy beats you off the line. So I'm positive the defensive back room ain't uh, very good. Um, trying to think of what I'm, what other positive takes can I take away from last night? We were in the game at halftime. That, that's a positive, I guess. Um, I'm positive Spencer Rattler needs a, a ice bath today because he's probably beat the hell up. I'm positive he probably thinks he should have left and went to the NFL after last year. It would probably been a better choice. Um, what can I say we did right? I don't know. Y'all remember that old movie, Necessary Roughness, when uh, the coach was in the hospital and the assistant coach had to take over and he was coaching the team. And he had his whole list of everything they did right in the first half. He goes into the halftime and gives this speech. What did we do right? Absolutely nothing. We did nothing right. I, I just, I mean, I'm sure in there somewhere, 
once I rewatch the game, I might find a positive, but I don't know if I even want to rewatch the game to try to find anything positive. Um, I'll tell you what I'm positive on. I'm positive <laughs> that uh, if we don't play better next week, we might lose the Furman. I'm positive I'm not going to get my hopes up on this football team um, until I see something different. Because what I saw last night was no different than what I saw against Mizzou or, or uh, Florida last year. You know, can't stop the run, can't tackle. Uh, same old plays. Didn't see nothing open up. I, I just, I, I don't know. I, I mean, do you, do you just cut it now and, and put all your young kids in and uh, play a young team, play for next year? I, I don't know. I, I think that's not fair to Spence for coming back and, and some of the senior guys, I guess. Some guys that turn, I, I don't know. I, I just got, I, we lost some guys due to injury. That's not a positive either. Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm gonna drink my coffee. The positive is God let, allowed me to wake up this morning. It's a fine Sunday morning. Beautiful Sunday morning down here in Florida. Got some things to take care of today. And I'm gonna watch Florida State LSU later on this evening. I may live stream that game. I'm not sure yet, but uh, I'll let you guys know. Come hang out with me. Uh, tomorrow's a holiday, so Rooster Man ain't got to worry about getting up early and go to work. So I may end up live streaming the game. Uh, but uh, appreciate everybody comes, hangs out on the channel. Go check out my mayonnaise. I ran my mouth, so I got my mayonnaise bath or to the face. And that's what I get running my mouth. I made another bet with BBD over a Tennessee game. So I'm going to buy my bottle of mustard now, my tortillas, because I'm sure I'm getting the mustard tortilla slap. That's coming, uh, week five. And then that's probably going to be the end of my stupid bets for this year when it comes to South Carolina, because uh, I just can't keep losing all these these damn bets, man. I'll be a wounded warrior by the end of the year. Um, but uh, like I said, appreciate you guys. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, hope you like the videos. Appreciate everyone that subscribed to the channel. We're growing. We're growing, and we're going to have fun. It's football season. Um, at least I don't have to worry about getting my hopes up now. I, I can be just, it is what it is. But, you know, I'll still do my trash talk because it's all in fun and games. I like when people trash talk me back. Even, even if I trash talk and we lose, um, I like it when people give it back to me. It, it, it makes it fun, right? It's all in the banter. But, like again, like I said, appreciate all you guys. I'm going to jump out here finish up my coffee. Uh, and... and forget about last night that's what i'm gonna do it was pathetic <laughs>